Hi guys, today I am bringing you that no makeup makeup look and I always feel silly about that concept because I think, you know, okay, it's no makeup makeup, but here I am sitting here showing you 12 to 15 steps on how to pull it all together and it just seems crazy. But that is, I think, the best description that I can give you for the look that we're coming out with here. And it's something that's really all about the skin looking really fresh and perfected and not a lot else. It's just kind of going with what God gave us here and making it as pretty as possible. And I was traveling um, over this past weekend. I was back at my parents' house and there were several days where I did this kind of a look, um, primarily with the skin products. And I would catch a glance of myself in a mirror maybe and I remember thinking, wow, maybe less is more. Did I just say that? Ah! But it's truly one of those looks in a practical sense that does not take a lot of time to pull together. It doesn't take a lot of careful strategy, but I think it looks super fresh. So here is what I did to get this look. Good morning, guys. You're the first ones I'm talking to today, so <laughs> get the raspy out with you all. Um, I am going to be using a little combo of products today for the all-over base on my skin, and it's the It Cosmetics CC Cream and also a little bit of the Illumination version. Let's say you have the regular and you don't have the Illumination. You could maybe mix in like a little bit, maybe not a total half and half split, but a little bit of a um, liquid liquid highlight would probably give you a very similar effect. I just have both of these. I like both of these, so I'm trying to work them in. So I'm going to do almost a whole pump of the regular and then an equal amount of the illumination. I have both of these in the shade medium, by the way, and I'm just kind of blending those around here. And then I'm going to patch these all over my skin and I'll blend it out more fully with a brush. And I love how those products go on basically feeling like moisturizers, you know? I had just a little light moisturizer on underneath, but when you blend them out, then you really start to see, oh, they cover too. And I just like the effect of having that little bit of the illumination. I mean, I'll wear the illumination version on its own. I've done that in a video not too long ago, but... Um, it's just kind of fun to see how you can switch it up. And if we're kind of going for no makeup makeup, I think just having that slight bit of glow, by the way, I've got like a sheet mark on my forehead, just ignore that. But just for the subtle glow, for the maybe I'm not even wearing anything on my skin type look, I think it's nice to kind of sneak in the illumination version. So I've got that base that's looking really nice and natural right now, and I'm gonna pull in a concealer that's really going to work. It's going to cover everything I need to cover, but as it wears throughout the day, it's not going to have an obvious makeup look, and that is the Tarte Shape Tape. Definitely uh, my favorite concealer of the moment. It's in light to medium. You've got a kind of oversized, foot applicator here. And it doesn't take a lot of this product, but I always try to get the most right on that inner part there on the sides of my nose. You may or may not have the most discoloration right there, but I also take it around the sides of my nose a little bit on top, just because sometimes some redness develops there and just like so. And then this is just my little brush that came with that random little Mally eyeshadow palette and I was like, you know, it's too big for eyeshadow for me but it works just swimmingly for concealer. Concealer step is done. Full coverage and fabulous but not looking like makeup. And uh, that could be my renamed channel, Full Coverage and Fabulous. Um, but I'm going to take my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, which I just mentioned in my Powders That Don't Look Like Powder video. This is a translucent, kind of one-size-fits-all powder here that, it, you know, it doesn't have a ton of color that translates onto the skin. You're not going to apply this and look white. Um, but yet it really does mattify, perfect, smooth, and not look like powdery particles on your skin. I absolutely love it on the under eye with the e.l.f. small tapered brush. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of product there and just dab this as some under eye setting powder. And then the only other spot that I'm going to really apply powder or need powder on my face today is uh, right around the T-zone. So I will take this on the nose, around the mouth and chin, 
and a little bit right up here across my forehead. Next up, I am going to use my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Duo. Um, remember when they first only came out with one shade? This is that one. I think it's called St. Lucia, and it's got that kind of peachy, little bit shimmery, golden peach type of blush, and then the bronzer over here. So I am going to do a little contouring with this first, and I'm going to pick up some of that product with my uh, Sigma Small Contour Brush. I like this product because I feel like it's deep enough to do its job, but it's not so dark that it's a struggle to work with or, you know, it looks unnatural. It really just looks like these shadows could naturally occur on my skin. Then for just a little more color overall on the skin, I'm going to use that same shade but with the e.l.f. Complexion brush and just pick up some of that shade really lightly. Using a larger brush will make it a little more foolproof. And this is just a really easy way to give your whole skin tone a boost, just liven up everything. But it's not really going to look makeup-y, you know, once you're done. So just keep it light, just kind of hit the tops of the nose, the cheeks, just that natural sun-kissed type look. I am going to use this for a soft um, crease contour on my eye area. So I'm using my Sigma E25 brush, dipping into that color a little bit. And yeah, we're just going to utilize this shade as eyeshadow. It's really that crease shade that I think a lot of people tend to want to reach for, that nice soft brown. Just a little natural shadow. And just to make sure it's really not standing out and looking like a big eyeshadow look is happening here. I'm really blending over that as well. For the brows, I need a little fill-in in some places. I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette. So one of those really, really fine pencils. Get that in the spots where I need it. I spill, I spill in. <laughs> I fill in a little bit in the front of the brow. Excuse you. And then... I just uh, lightly go over the rest and hit any areas where it's looking a little uneven. The thing about this pencil and the thing about application of a brow product that I don't think a lot of people talk about is the amount of pressure applied. Um, I'm really, I feel like I'm holding the pencil very lightly. I'm not really gripping it super tight. And the amount of pressure applied to the skin is super light for me. Um, and I think that keeps it looking natural and not looking like, oh, you just drew something on with a pencil, you know? And then I think a little clear brow gel on top, even if you don't normally use it, I do think this is an important thing. I normally only think about the hold that it gives, but it does actually give a little natural shine back to the hairs that sometimes gets taken away when you're putting pencil all over. So this is just a clear one from Wet n Wild. Use whatever you have and can find. I love the NYX Control Freak, by the way. Um, but just going over them seems to give a little more life back to that hair. And then going back to the eyes, what I want is just a subtle sheen across the lids that almost, it doesn't look makeup-y, but it just looks like dewy a little bit. And I need it to have good staying power because I'm not going to be setting it with anything. So I think the right product for this job is going to be the Maybelline Color Tattoo Concentrated Crayon in Bronze Truffle. When I did this overall look a few times while I was traveling, um, I either really did up my eyes or I only only curled my lashes and put on mascara. So I hadn't really done this like little middle of the road, barely there eye with it. But I'm just going to lightly get a little bit of this across the lid. Yeah, it's a subtle shine. You could go with something lighter or more champagne-y, but I think it might look even more makeup-y, perhaps. I'm taking it a little bit around that inner corner to pick up a little light there. And then you could blend it with your finger or this Real Techniques shading brush. I tell you, it's a godsend for cream shadow. Dabbing over cream shadow with that, it seems to pick up excess. And anytime I work that dang brush in, like, I swear the cream shadow wears better for me. Because I've just eliminated some excess. And then I'm going to line my waterline. I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize and Nude. Just sweep that in there for that wide awake look nobody can put their finger on, except for you guys. 
Oh, and I forgot to do the blush. I'm going to go ahead and jump back in and do that. I meant to do it right after I contoured the crease there on my eye. But I am using the blush that comes in here. It's lightly glowy. Don't get too much on the brush. I personally am choosing to skip the eyeliner. I'm going straight to curling the lashes and I'm going to apply CoverGirl Supersizer. I'm going to go ahead and use that on top and bottom. I have realized it really does last pretty well on the bottom lashes for me anyway. And by the end, I wasn't sure if I'd want this or not, but I think I do. It's my NYX Bright Idea Stick, the Chardonnay Shimmer shade. Just a super natural, gorgeous, glowy shade. I pick up a little on my e.l.f. small stipple brush. It really seems to catch the light nicely. And then work whatever else is on your brush kind of upward. Then I'm going to do kind of a natural color, but has a lot of shine in it type lip color. The Flower Beauty Hydra Silk in the shade Rose Petals. I didn't bring a ton of lip products with me when I was traveling, so this one I ended up reaching for a lot when the rest of my face was just kind of light and natural because I just thought it fit. And I'm going to finish the look with a couple mists of my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. I, for one, am very happy with this. I see myself with this look and I think the skin just looks really fresh. It's achieving that look that's in my imagination of what really good, perfect skin would look like. You know, it would be totally even and it would have this glow that seemed like it was just coming from within and not placed there. So I love it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look too. I think you could certainly use it for a lot of different occasions. And as always, feel free to incorporate the products you already have. There are a lot of things that aren't exactly what I use, but they can perform similar functions for you. So keep that in mind. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.